One of the most vital parts of the Industrial Revolution was not the inventions of machinery itself, rather the mechanisms that made them up. The cotton gin, the loom, the first sewing machine, and even steamboats would not be able to function without these mechanisms of industry. Eli Whitney was the first man to come up with such machinery. He invented a drilling machine, as well as a milling machine that cut metal objects into identical fashion, establishing what was known as interchangeable parts. One man and a horse will do more than 50 men with those old machines. Tis generally said by those who know anything about it, and I shall make my fortune by it. Oh, shoot. Mechanization in the industry helped create the mass production of pottery because it offered two advantages. It first increased productivity for the manufacturer and lowered prices for the consumer. The lower prices for the consumer was because they could produce higher quality pottery faster using less labor which would reduce the cost of production. Like other countries, Britain had many small pottery workshops where craftsmen made a few plates and cups at a time. Much of this activity took place in part of the Midlands that possessed good clay, coal for firing, and lead for glazing. There, Josiah Wedgwood, the son of a potter, started his own pottery business in 1759. Wedgwood's most important contribution lay in producing ordinary porcelain chiefly by the means of division of labor. Wedgwood subdivided the work into highly specialized and repetitive tasks, such as unloading clay, mixing it, pressing flat pieces, dipping the pieces in glaze, putting handles on cups, packaging kilns, and carrying things from one part of his plant to another. He invested in toll roads and canals so that special pottery clay found in southwestern England could be economically shipped to his factories in the Midlands. In 1782, the naturalist Erasmus Darwin encouraged him to purchase a steam engine. The engine that Wedgwood bought was the first to be installed in a factory. 
These were radical departures from the age-old methods of craftsmanship, but the division of labor and new machinery allowed Wedgwood to lower the cost of his products while improving their quality and to offer his wares for sales at lower prices.